Majerus and I'm with ADS Environmental Services and today we're going to be showing you a couple of our products, uh, the Hycron Leak Listener and the Eureka 2R Correlator. Okay, this is the Hycron Leak Listener and it is basically an acoustic listener to uh, take out into the system and listen to leaks or noise of leaks in the system. It consists of a little handheld amplifier, a set of headphones, and a accelerometer type microphone. And the, the, the purpose of this is just to place it on to fire hydrants, valves, anything of that nature to listen for the, the leak signature. Right now we have the magnet mounted right on there, but it does have rods that you can extend the reach so you can reach down into valve boxes with it. Real simple device, it consists of a volume and a push button. When you push the button, you're listening. This is the correlator. It's our basic entry level model. Uh, correlator that's designed to, to locate leaks in a system. It comes in this Pelican case and it consists of a handheld unit that's self-contained and two radios that you place the accelerometers on to listen for leaks. This is the, the handheld. It uh, requires no computer. It's all self-contained rechargeable unit. The radios themselves are rechargeable as well and uh, they're used for transmitting the leak noise from the two accelerometers back to the handheld unit for correlation. This is one of the radios that we're going to deploy. Like I said, its whole intent is to, uh, to transmit that, what the accelerometers are picking up from the places they're located back to the handheld unit. And that, that's what's going to give us the distance from either side to the leak. These buttons correspond to these menu items. So if I hit correlate, it's already correlating. No distances are in there or anything. It's just checking that area out and seeing if there's a leak in the area. So it's finding a peak, which mm -hmm. means there's a leak there or there's something there. Now to know where that is, we go into pipe details, push that. It's going to ask you the distance. The distance was? 326 feet. 326. Enter. What material? 8 inch cast. So we go up to cast iron. Enter, and we go down to four to eight inch. Enter. Correlate. Okay. Go to peak. So it's telling me that I have a, a leak indication 38.4 feet from the blue radio, and 287.6 feet from the red radio. Okay, so now if I take the wheel and I go, there's where it's finding it. Now, what this, what this unit tells you, like any leak detection equipment, it tells you that there's a noise there. Okay. It's up to the operator to determine whether it's a leak. So this is the Micron, ground microphone. It has a listening uh, transducer on the bottom that is mounted on a rubber bellow, so it's disconnected from this case outside. And that's important because it shields it from wind noise. And it's got a rubber ring on the bottom to kind of shield it from road noise. So the only thing that's going to be in contact with the pavement is the actual listening element. The handheld unit is rechargeable. Real simple to use. There's only five buttons on it. One is volume down and one is volume up. Uh, you have a series of filters that you can pick depending on the pipe you're listening to. In this case, we'll leave it wide open. And then to take a reading, you just push that button. So it will take a reading. You have an indication mm -hmm. of your charge. And the, the little speaker here, you see it blanked out right now. It just says you're not listening. When you listen, it actually comes on. So what we're going to do is we're going to raise the volume. When it comes up, it always comes on at minimum, minimum volume. And that's to help prevent your ears from experiencing something weird. And we're going to take the headphones and the process now is that we know it's approximately 38 feet from here as you get closer to the leak the number goes up once you get past it the number starts going down so you don't just have to depend on your ears and your experience with listening so the first reading I took is is now that way was in the 40s this the reading in the center is 76 and the reading going that way is 52 so it tells me that the strongest reading was right in the middle Oh,